pistols in Call of Duty Zombies are mobile, agile and sometimes powerful, but which five are the best of them all? Let's take a look. Hi guys and welcome back to another top 5 zombie video and today we're going to be ranking the top 5 best pistols from World at War, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 Zombies. Now just a couple of things to uh, clarify here, uh, the first one is we're not going to be including any wonder weapons and we're also not going to be including any pack a punch to versions either, just going to be how they are when you buy them off the wall or whenever you get them inside the mystery box. Now you guys know the drill, let's get to 1k subscribers as soon as possible, uh, the sooner we do it the sooner I can start waffling like this at the start of each of my videos. So with that said, let's move on to the list. Starting off our list at the number 5 spot I have gone for the Python from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. Now I've always had a soft spot for the Python, I think it's a very underrated weapon um, and I, I do think it's actually very very good in a lot of ways. So it's a semi-automatic revolver, uh, 6 bullets per magazine with 84 in the reserve ammo so you get plenty of ammo uh, with this weapon. Um, it's only available out of, the, out of the mystery box, you can't buy it um, off the wall and yeah I just think it's an overall a, a fairly decent weapon. It does of course have um, a couple of drawbacks. Uh, the first one is uh, well the reload speed, he only sort of puts in uh, one bullet at a time so when you're playing zombies especially um, you know the reload speed does uh, it, it makes it quite annoying because you know you want to just quickly reload and then get back to killing zombies but with the python uh, you know you can't really do that and the second issue I have with it is I think well it's not really an, an issue I guess it's just I don't think that the range is that good I feel as if the the uh, fall off like damage I think that's the correct term um, it, it falls off quite a lot when you shoot zombies that are quite far away so you've got to be you know quite close to a zombie um, um, to get that one shot kill effect. Speaking of which, it's one shot kill to the body uh, up until round 10 and one shot kill to the head up until uh, round 15. So, you know, as long as you aim for the head, the Python is is a fairly, uh, you know, a fairly strong and reliable one shot kill. Um, but once you get past round 15, it becomes two shot kill uh, no matter where you shoot them. So, yeah, a, a very good uh, revolver, semi automatic, plenty of, of ammo. I just wish it had uh, a bit of a faster reload animation. But apart from that, uh, yeah, I do like the Python. So I'm going to put it in at the number five spot. Now, one place above the Python at the number four spot, we have the B23R from Black Ops 2. Now, the B23R is a three round burst pistol and it's available off the wall, I believe, on every map excluding town, farm, and bus depot. So it's on all of like the DLC maps as well as transit and uh, it costs 1000 points off the wall except for Mob of the Dead. Uh, on that map it costs 900 points, I don't know why um, it, it's different but for some reason on Mob of the Dead the B23R is actually slightly cheaper. Um, but yeah the B23R is like I said a 3 round burst pistol, uh, 15 bullets per, ma uh, per magazine with 105 in the reserve ammo. Now if my maths is correct that is seven magazines, um, not including, <coughs> excuse me, not including the 15 that, that you get um, when you buy the weapon. So, you know, ammo is, it, it's okay. And I think the B23R um, strongest area is the ammo capacity. Now, you know, five bursts per magazine, 105 in the reserve ammo. It's okay. It's nothing, it's, it's nothing fantastic. It's nothing awful. It's middle of the park in my opinion. But um, yeah, I do think B23R is one of those weapons which it always just, you know, it helps you get by. You know, it gets the job done uh, in most cases. If you aim for the head, it's actually fairly fairly decent. Um, of course, it's lightweight with it being uh, a pistol. It's good for getting points as well. So it's not like a revolver like the Python that we just spoke about. So if you want to try and get points with it, then this is one of the best pistols um, for that area. So yeah, I, I do think it's a pretty decent gun. It's of course, like I said, I meant, like I mentioned, available uh, off the wall. So you can just keep purchasing uh, ammo for it. So. Yeah, I, I do think the Booty 3 r is a fairly steady weapon. Um, I just wish maybe I had a bit more ammo, but you know, listen, it's still a fairly good pistol. So I, I do think it does deserve the number four spot. 
Up next, at our number three spot, we have the Remington New Model Army, exclusive from Buried. Now, the Remington is basically the exact same weapon as the Python when it comes to damage and ammo capacity. So just to reiterate what I said earlier, um, it's one shot kill up until round 10, and it's one shot kill to the head up until round 15. And that is without uh, double tap two. I'm not sure on the statistics, um, on this weapon when you buy double tap 2 um, but I just know without it it's one shot kill to the, to the body up until round 10 and then one shot kill to the head up until round 15 but the reason why this is above the python um, is well and, and, the BG, and the BG3R is because of the reload speed so the Remington new model army has a much um, swifter uh, much swifter a swifter reload speed uh, in comparison to the python so as you can see in this clip here whenever I reload it just pops out the uh, the old barrel and puts a new one in so it's a lot faster when it comes to reloading and that is a massive advantage when playing zombies um you know there is nothing worse than a weapon just taking ages to reload it's just so annoying and frustrating so for me personally i think the reload speed um of weapons is a massive factor when it comes to uh, when I rank these, you know, when I create ranking lists, for example, like this one here. So yeah, it's also a very ideal weapon to use because on, of course on Buried, it's like a, an old Western town and the Remington New Model Army is an old style Western pistol. So, you know, it fits in with the map perfectly. And that's also, you know, something else which I really do enjoy about it. So yeah, it's only available out of the mystery box. Uh, you can't buy it off the wall you know i've not got a problem with that to be honest you know it makes no it makes no difference to me um but yeah i'm always more than happy uh, to pick it up out of the box whenever i get it um you know just going around using it, it makes you feel you know like you're this old western cowboy when you're playing on this map so yeah i, I think treyarch did uh, a really you know a really good job of putting this weapon onto buried so yeah the remington new model army a fantastic weapon and deservedly comes in at our number three spot but taking the silver medal and coming in at our number two spot today guys we have the 5.7 dual wield from black ops 2. now i did a video fairly recently um titled the top five most underrated weapons and the 5.7 dual wield actually came in at the number two spot on that list as well so i have previously explained why i do enjoy um using these weapons but i'll do this i'll do the same um, in this video as well so i think that the 5.7 dual wield is actually a weapon which is a genuine weapon which you can use up until round 30 if you have double tap 2. If you get double tap 2 and aim for the head and um, 5.7 dual wields is capable of just shredding massive hordes uh, with ease. I I'm not even joking if you haven't used this weapon just seriously give it a go get double tap 2 aim for the head and you will honestly find it so easy um, to survive. So not only are they excellent for training, of course, with them being lightweight, with them being a pistol, and they also have tons of ammo, uh, 15 bullets per magazine uh, with each 5.7. So you essentially get 30 bullets um, in total. Um, and now, you could argue that they're not that accurate because obviously you can't aim down sights with them being uh, um, dual wield. So the accuracy is slightly lowered uh, in comparison to the other weapons. But I don't really think that's much of a, of a, uh, of a deterrent when using the uh, the 5.7 dual wields. You know, they are just simply a fantastic weapon have to use they're powerful they're strong they've got a fast reload speed um and, and yeah i just cannot believe more people do not use the 57 um, I, I actually keep the pack of punish 57s uh, in, in the fridge um on, on transit and dry rise um um i forgot what they're called now i've got uh, ultra and violet um so yeah i just i have i have so much praise uh, for this weapon and yeah i think they are severely underrated but just give it give this weapon a go guys if you if you haven't used it just try it try it out and honestly, I will guarantee that you will not um, be disappointed. So yeah, the 5.7 dual wield, a incredibly good weapon to use. Um, very, very strong. And yeah, definitely do deserve to be on this list. So they're gonna be placed in at the number two spot. But coming in at the number one spot, we have the king of pistols and the king of revolvers. We have the 0.357 Magnum. Now this is a six bullet revolver, semi-automatic available from World at War only, and it's available on all four maps out of the mystery box. Now the Magnum is the you know the most superior 
of the revolvers uh, purely because of the damage. Now, I was playing this map, Anarchal and Totem, and I was noticing that this weapon wasn't actually reliably killing zombies in one shot on round 11, which is a bit weird because I was playing Shina Numa the other day and I was using the, uh, the Magnum and it was one shot kill very reliably up until round 13. So I'm going to go with the Shina Numa stats and say that this weapon is one shot kill up until round 13 and one shot kill to the head up until round 17. Now, for Nardrum Totem, I think that is slightly different because you can see in this clip it's taken two shots to kill on round 11. So uh, it's a very strange weapon uh, for that area, but on Shinonuma, um, it is certainly one shot kill on round 13 and two shot um, kill to the head uh, past round 17. So yeah, the Magnum is by far the most, uh, the, the most damaging uh, pistol and revolver out there um and yeah it's just a really famous weapon and um, geez everyone remembers the magnum from world at war it was the only pistol really which you could use apart from the reagan um so the only non wonder weapon pistol on this game was of course the colt uh, which is a weapon which you get at the you know at the start of the game and the magnum so yeah i, I think playing world at war magnum is an incredibly infamous weapon and uh, yeah it's got a very good legacy and it's just a very all-round fantastic weapon it's also got a speed reload as well you can see here it's, it's not like the python where it puts in uh, one bullet sort of at a time it's the, it's got a very fast reload animation it's similar to when you pack a punch the python it's got the speed reloader so yeah listen magnum without a shadow of a doubt the best pistol in my opinion from world of war black ops 1 and black ops 2 so it has to come in at the number one spot so guys, that is my list. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments section down below. Also, like I mentioned earlier, do not forget to like and subscribe to show your support and check out my playlist that I've created. I have done loads of other different top five zombie videos, so please make sure that you check them out as well. But most importantly, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll catch you soon on my next video. Goodbye.